woke or not. This is we. This is this is how it's it's made. All right, a lot of guys and goddesses vibrating low. They gonna get a second chance because the ancestors know what has been done to y'all to us. So they showing they still gonna show these guys and goddesses some love, and that's what's going on right now. People getting their little second chance. They one lag, get one last chance, make shit right now. You know what I'm saying? You got to the end of the year now. You want the last chance to make this shit right because the frequency is increasing and it's gonna get deadly. And, and it's gonna get to a point where one day it ain't gonna be no internet. Like you're gonna get on this, get on here, and then it ain't gonna be no, you'll be able to access it. Alright, and I've been saying I've been speaking about this for years. Alright, but we moving closer to that point. Um, it's a lot going on on the planet. I'm finna do lives, I mean lectures about the heat wave thing. Oh, that's a lot I've been seeing. I've been, I've been, I've been, that's why I said I'm always working on lectures to talk to y'all about. They don't even have nothing to do with the cosmos. But I still got to keep y'all up to date on what's going on. All right, so we just moved out of this retrograde, which was a serious retrograde we went through. Because like I say, these retrogrades are like, they were they are designed to boop bump you up a little bit in your, in your, in your, on your spiritual journey. It's the true purpose of a retrograde, okay? It causes you to look deep within yourself. It causes us to, to, to pay attention to the, the mental restructuring that most of us have been succumbed to through the things that are placed inside of our avatars, all right? This is why what, what you eat, food, and this stuff. This is why this is so, it's all a weapon used against you, all right? I think I'm going to bring back my lecture on the five different spells because I did this like a year ago on Facebook. It was real deep. I'm thinking about bringing it back and redoing the whole thing and putting it right on the website. I still got the PowerPoint and everything from last year when I first did it. But it's, 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 I think I'm going to need you guys you guys to look at that. That's like very important to what's going on right now in the structure of the cosmos. All right. With these planets shifting, these energies shifting. All right. The crystallized energy is being restored right now in the realm. The elites, they they scared than a motherfucker. All right, most of them have been executed already, but you still have a lot of them that live amongst you. You have so many extraterrestrial races that still walk amongst you on the surface. So, like I have been telling you for a matter of the last few months that the war has been going on in the cosmos and under the surface. And it's been starting to rise, starting to rise to the surface. It hasn't hit the surface, but it's starting to rise to the surface. This is why you see in Texas, they just made it illegal for you to get a gun without even a backdrop, background check. All right? Because you're going to see them try to move us into a purge state where they're going to want uh, us to kill each other off and give us days and weeks where we can kill each other and not go to jail. And all, all that's coming. It's coming. Okay? All a part of confusion. So for you to understand how to raise the frequency in your house, you must first understand frequency and what's going on right now on the planet. And because you have Zeus and his army, they are working overtime to snatch as many souls as they can on their side. You see a lot of Autobot activation. It's a lot of people selling their souls. Y'all been seeing a lot of rappers get locked up, haven't y'all? Have a job. Yes, y'all have. And I told y'all it was going to come. Like, y'all can see a lot of rappers getting locked up. Y'all can see a lot of rappers, they either going to be sitting either locked up or they ass dead. Or they, I mean, or they going to jail. When in reality, a lot of these rappers were in on the blood drinking. Since I told y'all that, notice how many rappers got locked up since. So I not don't speak about rappers to speak about fucking rappers. No, I speak about rappers because the rappers are the new age preachers. I don't know if y'all know this. Y'all kids ain't listening to no preachers. You'd be lucky if your kid listen to me. See what I'm saying? If your kid listen to me, you lucky. Or the spiritual intellect, you lucked up. Because when they get on the internet, they just listen to the rappers. That's the only music out here. They don't know shit about no Bill Withers when I get to playing Lovely Day. This is their first time hearing it. So rappers are raising the kids, and that's by design. Rappers lyrics send your kids to jail. And they take the money that you spend on them albums, right? And they put they put their kids and their families in the best positions. This, that's why this must end. They are the biggest weapon against the community right now. Because it's all about the youth. And the youth listen to the rappers. 
all the rappers with a voice with, with talent with something to say they don't put them out there in the mainstream they put the rappers out there that's gonna keep promoting the, the violence to do what lower the frequency remember it's a frequency war so your job is to raise the frequency why do you think when we come in here and we talk we be a facebook instagram twitter youtube we all feel good and we have fun we joke all right, I feel more comfortable talking to you, to you all than I do when I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm more militant. When I'm with y'all, it's more of a family sense and I can really get the message to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, that's because we be raising the frequency. Sometimes we raise the frequency so high, like I say, we shatter the internet. Okay? So, you got to know how to keep your vibration high. Okay? And it's harder to do that when you're in a house full of drama and negativity. Okay, some everybody's is different. Some people drama is they beefing with their mom. Some people beefing with they their girlfriend, their wife. Some people beefing with their husband, sisters, brothers, kids. And y'all all in the same house though. Okay? So the thing is, how do we raise this frequency? First off, who all live in the house with you? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to y'all from three different viewpoints how to do it. I gotta speak if you a god. I'm going to tell you how to do it as a guy trying to raise the frequency in a house where, you know, your, your wife live with you or your, or, your, or, your, or, your, or your daughter live with you or your girlfriend live with you. Feel me? <clears throat> All right. As a, as, and then I'm going to tell you how to do it as a young guy if you actually in the house still living with your parents or you roommate with somebody. And then I'm going to tell you how to do it as a goddess if you the wife or the, or, or the girlfriend in the house with the hub beefing with the husband or the boyfriend or the baby daddy. Or if you the or, or beefing with the daughters and the sons, or if you the daughter who's a teenager, or you living with mom and dad, and you beefing with them, or you beefing with, um, you know, mostly teenage goddesses and teenage guys. The house you living in is with your parents, so your biggest discrepancy is gonna be them. And I'm gonna give y'all all the angles from each one because each one is a different. Okay, so let's start with ladies first, goddesses first. Let's start with a goddess. Okay, how can she increase the frequency if, if you're a goddess to have your own house? This is for the, the adult goddesses. So you got your own house, you got your husband, or you got your boyfriend, whether he, you know, or, or, or you know, you have kids. The first thing to do is to take command of the household. All right, if you're a goddess and you recognize that you are the one vibrating the highest in the house, even though he is a god and it's, but it's, it's his right to lead the family, you got to know as a goddess when to step up and when not and when to step back. Because that's the goddess. Remember, you, the, you, the, you are the official leader. We are the assigned leaders. It's the difference. As the goddess, you are the official leader. We are the assigned leaders. So what that means is as a goddess, you got to recognize like, okay, when I'm in my household, what position do I need to play? All right. Am I with a god that I can trust to lead? All right, but if he's if he's still kind of not woke, you know that don't mean break up with your husband or break up with your boyfriend, right? But you have to awaken him because this affects what you do in the house affects him. All right, and what he does affects you. Hmm. So you have to first. Analyze the situation. What type of household am I in as a goddess right now? Is my husband a boyfriend? Or is he woke? Is he is he trying to work on his spiritual side? Or is he just stuck on going to work and, 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 and advancing in the material realm? Remember, the material realm is temporary. The spiritual realm is forever. So that's what you need to size up. If this guy is strictly stuck in the material phase of himself, this means that he is only concerned with selling drugs running the street, or he's only concerned with going to work and, 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 and making good money so that he can pay the bills, all right? He's strictly locked in the lowest part of himself because he has limited himself to just being a worker. He believes his worth is just to pay the bills, all right? So he doesn't have any spiritual insight you and him are going to bump heads. Anytime you decide to become what they like to call spiritual, there's no such thing as really spiritual. It's not really spirituality. 
It's just you are realizing that you are not a body anymore. You now realize that you are really the spirit and the soul controlling the body. And this is what they like to call spirituality, but it's not spirituality. Your third eye is awakening and it's opening. You are, you are raising your frequency. You are going into a higher level of yourself. All right, okay. But if your husband and your, and your boyfriend, if, 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 if he is not on that level of himself, you are going to bump heads. So now that's where the question comes in and how can you raise the frequency? Okay, so as a goddess, you know, you have to literally sit there. Because listen, you can you can sage the house down. Some people say, you sage. Don't forget to open the window so that when you sage, you let the spirits out. If a spirit is inside of your house and he don't and, and he or she does is decides that he doesn't want to leave your house, you can open the window all day. The spirit ain't going nowhere. Like spirits don't they not dumb. You know what I'm saying? It's a spirit. It, you are a spirit. And so, you know, so that's a lie. You can put red pepper around the house, all this shit. It'll help, but it, it's not going to get the energy out the house. Okay. You have to understand your house. You have to understand energy, frequency. Everything in your house has a spirit in it, which is electricity. Everything that forms, take up space, holds energy in it. So it's a lot of things in your house around you. That's a lie. That's what that means. And until you recognize that you can't raise the frequency in your house. Because sometimes the reason that your husband don't even want to listen to you and, and work on his spiritual side is not because of him. He's being attacked by, by multiple spirits that are weighing him down. They're attacking him the same way motherfucking killer whales attack blue whales. The way orcas and shit be attacking shit in the ocean. Like spirits ride individuals. The body can house up to a thousand spirits by itself. If your husband or boyfriend is not trying to work on himself, then that means he has negative spirits within his house. That means within his temple. This is the true reason he don't want to work on himself. So now you, you have a spiritual battle. So how do you raise that frequency in your house? Recognizing what I'm telling you that is. Not recognizing that when somebody don't want to work on that themselves. Like not on a physical level. On a, on a spiritual level. People that we would call sheep and sleep. They are filled with. So much nanobot technology that it, that it made their avatars easily cons con consumable for negative spirits and entities. They need weak bodies. They can't go after you if you're strong. They can't go after you if you know who you are. They don't come after you. They too stay. They, they are terrified of you. They attack the weak, the weak ones, the weak ones. They don't know who they are yet, or like the kids. This is why in scary movies, they always showed you spirits messing with kids first. But in real life, they really do. Why do you think the kids always want to see some shit first? Spirits, negative spirits, need bodies. Once they get in a body, they can release into this density, this, this, this ram. So, you got to know right away that if you around a motherfucker in your house... You staging, you doing meditate, you meditating, you listening to me, you learning who you are, you learning your true history, you learning about the cosmos, you learning about real science, all these things so you can teach them to your kids. But this boyfriend or this husband, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that pro-black shit. What? That's a negative spirit in him. Now, what if you listen to that spirit? Eventually, you're going to fall out of yourself, right? And lower your frequency. So know that his frequency is only lower because he is housed with negative spirits. Now you know now you know the battle you got. And now once you notice that, now it's strictly about coming to him just like this. Listen, a positive spirit and a negative spirit cannot live in the same household. That's for one. Somebody gotta go. Either the negative spirit is gonna get the fuck up out of there, or the positive spirit is gonna get the fuck up out of there. But this thing, 
Remember, you are just the avatar. Your spirit can leave your body and your body can still be right there. And you don't want that to happen if you're not in control. Because if you stay around a negative spirit goddess, no matter how strong your spirit is, if you don't tame that negative spirit, eventually your spirit is going to say, I got to go. And it's going to leave. It is going to go wander somewhere else. And now your avatar is going to open. And you're going to let all these other negative spirits in that are that are more like this boyfriend or, 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 or husband who you have fell in frequency for. Because either he's going to raise his frequency to your level or you're going to drop your and drop a frequency and go down to his. Oh, <laughs>